aka the Moroccan Devil. I train out of Factory X Muay Thai in Inglewood, Colorado. I am 6 and 0, 6 finishes. I'm fighting January 18th for LFA, Legacy Fire and Alliance. Make sure to tune in on Access TV. Wish I ride it every day. Oh, check it. They say they love me. I'm like, no, you don't. Ha, ha, ha. They say that they bump my shit. I'm like, no, you don't. Whoa, whoa. Uh, being main event, it's. It, wouldn't, it don't mean nothing to me, man. I. I just love fighting. That's that's all the only thing I do. And then now I get to to be the headliner of, of a card in in pretty much pretty big deal in Denver. But it, it, for me, I already dreamed about this. I already seen this happening. So for me, it's just it's another day in the office. Another sparring day for me. Uh, Mark Montoya, head coach and owner at Factory X here in Inglewood, Colorado. <laughs> Yusuf Zalal is just a great example of a kid that is obsessed with MMA. He, one of his comments that he said to me that I'll never forget is he said, Coach, this is all I have. And I have no choice but to go be successful at this. And I love that. I love that he recognizes that. I love that he is that passionate and he's that obsessed with becoming not only a great fighter but he's become a great uh, coach as well and he's stepped up and he's helped other athletes here and that takes a tremendous amount of selflessness and and that's not that's pretty odd when it comes to fighters because they are pretty selfish and I don't mean that in a bad way but because of what they do they have to be pretty selfish so to be able to go out there and not only focus on himself but also focus on others. It's shown the growth that he has had because of all the learning that he's done and, it, and he's entrenched himself into being great at just the sport in general, whether it's coaching or fighting. That, because of that, because he's obsessed, because he is out there every single day doing this, he has earned an opportunity to fight in a main event and go showcase his skills and again, go out there and make a statement and show why he's one of the best 145 pound fighters in the world. The energy, you know, it's kind of like the energy passes around. So, I mean, I know my team will do great. I know I will do great. And it's, it's, it's just an awesome thing to finish it up, you know, the cherry on top, you know, and that's, that's, that's what, that's what we're aiming for, and then we're aiming to be the best, so we're not here to be average. Uh, fighting in my, in my hometown, it's, 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 it's a great thing for me. I haven't, I haven't fought in Denver in like seven months, so my last fight was outside uh, Denver. It was in Minnesota, so I can't... I can't wait to show my, my fans and, the, and all the people in Colorado some put on a show on January 18th. So I'm, I'm very excited for it and I can't wait to, to perform. opportunity to coach ultimately comes down to his will want and need if if that's something he wants to do and he funny story is he came to me a couple years ago and said and I was in the cage I was actually getting ready to work with the, one of the athletes and he said can't be that hard to hold these mitts and, and like in typical use of fashion talking shit a little bit I I was like okay we'll pick them up and let's see what you got and and to my surprise, he actually was really good at it, uh, not knowing what the heck he was doing. So um, he showed an interest. He also showed that he has a desire to do that. And then he has a really good eye for fighting. So when it comes to tendencies, patterns, how we can beat guys, I've utilized him in, in a lot of fights, whether he's cornered them or not. Just his his eye and his knowledge and his want and will to help his uh, his teammates. So that's something that 
you know, he's born, he's born with and blessed with. And I, when he's done fighting, he will make an amazing coach. And I can't wait to sit next to him cage side uh, here in the future. It's just the mentality, man. And then the, the fight IQ is a, it's a whole different, you know. I'm, I, I'm a student of this game. I, I just learn from a lot of guys, from all my teammates, you know, the UFC, all this, this and that. So it's not, it's, it's nothing new to me, I should say. That's why main event, all this hype and all this and that. It's, it's not new to me. I was, I was, I, I'm ready for this. You know, I was, like you know, they said I was, I was meant to do this. So that's, that's where I'm at. I mean, it's great. You know, it's, it's always great having uh, UFC guys, especially top guys, the to, to top ten, world, fighting world champions and all that. But I mean, Mark Montoya has, has a, has a dream: five world champions in five years. It's already been a year, so we got four more years. So that's. So that's all the focus, you know, it's everybody training the same, it's nothing new. We, we do the same schedule, same routine and all that, so nothing really changes. He's more, he's more the high level a world champion, so he's they kind of more focused and that's, I kind of see, when I watch all that stuff, it kind of just motivates me more, you know, to, to go out there and fight, so that's, I'm pretty excited for him and I'm pretty excited for myself to be honest, so. I'm, 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 I'm ready to go to the next level, so that's where I'm at. Do you see yourself as one of those five in the next five years? 100%. 100%. Yeah, I won't, I won't, I won't be here if I, would, if I don't believe that. Um, my goal is, short, short term is to get to the UFC, long term is to be the world champion of the UFC. And that will happen. And I said to everybody, 2019, I will be in the UFC. Mark my, my words. I mean, it's it's definitely a pressure, but I'm not I'm not too worried about it. You know, it's I'm a professional. I uh, I do my job and uh, I handle my business on January 18th. So no matter what what 14 goes, I mean, it's it's who I am. And I'm I'm ready for that. But of course, there's always stress about it. You know, it's like we never know what can happen. You know, and this is my uh, big decision. They say, you know, like I can I can do a lot of things after that, but. Like again, I'm staying positive and uh, positive things come to me. You can turn me up. I mean, there's, there's some, some few steps after, but that's not, that's not too big. This is the main one, but it's, it's what I, we've been waiting for, you know? And then that's, this is almost time. I mean, a little bit, it, it impacted me a little bit, but it's not, it's not a really a big uh, big deal because a lot of people are doing the same thing. They they trying to follow the same thing I'm doing. You know, they they really want to live the American dream. They say you know, but we just trying we just trying to achieve our our dreams. You know, and our big things and basically shine shine in the darkness. You know, and that's that's where we at. And I know a lot of the, a lot of those guys are doing the same. So I can't blame them. You know, it's this is a an, an, an amazing country. You know, there's Every country has their bad politics and and all this, so. Again, man, I don't, I really don't focus on media. I really don't like. The only media I have is fighting and all that, so it's it's a lot of fun stuff. Not nothing political, man. I don't focus on the news. I don't see what's happening and all this and that. Probably it's bad, probably it's good for me. I just take all the stress out of it, you know? It's, they attacking my, uh, if they talking about their religion, let them talk, you know, whatever. I can't, I can't say nothing to change it until, until you have some fo uh, people, you know, to follow you. So as of right now, it's like, I'm just a kid just starting up, it, it ain't nothing. So I can't, I can't really get in my head into, into danger, you know, it's kind of just let it, let it rise and kind of just take it, you know, whatever. Yeah, I'm going out there to put in a show and I, I don't think they're ready for this. Awesome. Oh man, I got him like Step into 
through the room, they sing. Oh, uh, we do our thing. Oh.